You didn't know this, but you're a s'more! I mean, C-M-O-R. The way I keep these things straight in my head, C-M-O-R's, C-M-O-S's, and C-M-O-T's, smots, smosses, and s'mores. Um, so, a condition, motivating, operation, reflexive, C-M-O-R. S'more, huh? Right? Uh, it's just, you know, mnemonic devices, whatever. Um, you, camera, whatever you are. Maybe it's you. No, it can't be you because you're not really here. I'm talking to the camera. So the camera in itself is a condition motivating operation reflexive for me. Why? Because seeing that stimulus makes life good, right? I know that reinforcement is about to happen. I'm more likely to approach the camera. I'm more likely to be in a better mood. I'm more likely to do all sorts of stuff that's going to produce reinforcers. So the key here, though, don't forget, is reinforcement history and a discriminated operant. It's best often if we use an aversive sort of an example. <sighs> Imagine if I drive home every day, and every day I see this car that's parked on the side of the road. And I see the car that's parked on the side of the road in front of the neighbor's house. And every time that car is parked on the side of the road in front of the neighbor's house, there's a gigantic ass party. And it keeps me awake all night long. If I leave the house, or if I, you know, go tell the neighbors to simmer down on their party tonight, then I might avoid that noisiness, right? But just seeing the car becomes a CMOR for me. So as I come down the road, I might just see that car and be like, fuck it, I'm done. I'm getting the feck out of here. So, fruit, fruit, and just gone, right? C-M-O-R, Condition Motivating Operation Reflexive. The power is on the car. Um, we have the learning history where an avoidance response is getting reinforced. And now I'm just going to produce the avoidance response before the, the detailed stimuli, before the party even happens. I'm just gone. That's all there is to it.